Hello students. I hope all of you are good at home. Stay safely and continue your studies. And uh, as we are helping you out through our virtual classes, this is the continuation of our preparation. We have already started. We have already posted a few videos upon preparation. I hope all of you have seen and continue your study. So let's talk about the preposition of. There are few rules regarding over as we have done in in and in on by that. So the first rule of preposition, uh, first rule of the preposition over says that it is used to denote something vertically up, vertically up. If you are supposed to use the preposition offer, try to understand that, try to find out your sense of the sentence. What is the sentence actually trying to locate or say? Example, the breeze is over the river. So breeze is exactly this goes exactly over the river means this over has gone for the river which is just under the breeze and you may uh, have a question in your mind that it's, uh, it's uh, uh, not the stagnant water it keep on flowing so that doesn't matter it is actually over the uh, river the breeze is over the river. According to the rule, to denote something that is vertically up, vertically up, vertically up, exactly on the top. It crosses vertically yeah, it crosses the river and it goes vertically up. So there is not uh, much logic in it. Uh, you can uh, locate the things that is vertically. Uh, you can uh, you, you are supposed to use the preposition of our second to say that to denote the covering if something is covered if something is covered from all sides or you see that it's like something outer uh, skin like our uh, clothes and uh, our outer thing put the jacket over the sword if you put your jacket over your shirt, it will be closed. It looks like that something is closed over. Put rock over him. That must be what I say. Rock no long. This is the same thing. We use the preposition over. Covering, covering. The word has been coated to you to make you deliver the word covering. If your sentence uh, seems to say that something uh, is supposed to be used as a scholar, you have to use the preposition of. Do not get confused. Do not do to denote more than hiring rank. To denote more than hiring rank. Position rank. We have to use the preposition over for arguing about that someone is over the rank. It doesn't only uh, talk about position like rank in officer, rank in army, officers in rank, senior, junior, that are also rank. And in this regard, you can talk about is as well. Is. Like he is over 50 is, over is. So, he is over me. He is over me. It doesn't mean that someone is lying upon you. No. It's talking about the rank. Because we have already talked about the preposition on in regarding 
such sentences. The things attached to each other on top and down. That takes the preposition on. You can see the previous video. The sentence doesn't mean that someone is piling upon me. No, it's not concept. It's not the piling. No. So to denote over than hiring rank. You can talk about rank, you can talk about age, you can talk about seniority, okay, juniority, ranking. Ranking that can be failed. Ranking that can be felt. It's an abstract thing. You have to follow, know that yeah, he is junior, he is junior, he is uh, hovering uh, over this much age, like these things. Next, to denote on the other side. Walk over the bridge. Suppose you are suppose you are standing this side at one bank of the river and you want to go to the other bank. So you uh, may take the help of a bridge, you uh, will have to walk the, at the next side via bridge over the bridge or something else. So walk over the bridge. It means that the sentence wants to say that you are crossing the River. Next, we live over the mountains. It means that he is located or his house is located at the next side of the mountain. He lives over the mountains. So, to denote all on the other side also takes the preposition over. Just try to Memorize, think that what is the nature of the sentence? What is it actually trying to denote? The situation, the feeling of the preposition depends most of the time on the nature of the sentence, on the situation it's talking about. And the rules is necessary at the other side. Sometimes you are supposed to guess, but while guessing the things, you must have the knowledge of the nature of the sentence. What is it trying to say? What actually the situation is demonstrating? All the sentences are supposed to demonstrate the situation. Every sentence has its own fixed meaning, way out. So, while doing the preposition, you will have to be a little bit conscious of those things. Now we have few rules as well. Let's see. Let's continue. We have uh, been discussing about the uses of the preposition over. In this regard, we have the next rule. We can use preposition to indicate in every part of. If the sentence is talking about all over every part, like all over the city, all over the school, all over the world, he has he has friends all over the world. He has his friends all over the world. Visu or in Expo, Sati Ru, Rega Sam. Expo sense the sentences or not. He has his friends all over the all over the world. If your sentence is talking about in every part, all over. The sentence is talking about each and every no can corner. In that regard, you are supposed to use the preposition over. Next example, we drank all over the Nepal yesterday. Is of this very nice? Pani for you. This is the sentence. Is it? Jami Jazin, Ure, Wilson, Ko, Ura, Gorira, Sto, Dekinsa. Next, to indicate 
why? Why? What is the exact meaning of why? At the meantime, at the meantime, hacker city here. So if your sentence is indicating some something of like why, tethi nahi kera, tethi nahi kera me simultaneously bita incident karo, bita ghatna aru bhaya ansa, bita kaam aru bhaya ansa. So if the sentence is sensing that it's talking about the two simultaneous incidents, it's talking about why. They think they are saying why the questions answer the first sentence ma. Why the questions answer to indicate why your rule says that you can use the preposition or to indicate why. And why is why used? Why it is talking about two simultaneous incidents? Like they have a chat over a cup of tea. What does it mean? What is the sentence trying to say? They have a chat over a cup of tea. They are not. They are not uh, having a cup of tea silently. They are not talking with each other. Not reacting anything. No. They were chatting with each other. They were chatting with. They were talking with each other. At the same time, they were having tea. They were having cup of tea. So in that, why taking tea? Why taking tea? Why having tea? They had a cup of. They had a chat over a cup of tea. We are talking about why. So if the sentence is. Indicating that it's talking, it's talking about why, and we have known that why indicates two things happening at the same time. Means two works are going on simultaneously. At that situation, the preposition or what is supposed to use, supposed to be used. So likewise, we have uh, many examples that see. Few examples put the blanket over the bed. We have already talked about such a thing. Put the cap, jump over the wall, vertically up, vertically over the bed. So uh, you can uh, practice like this uh, sentences and uh, see few grammatical exercises of uh, in your book. And then we will be talking about few other prepositions. Let's see now. Let's see further. We are talking about under today. What are the uses? Where to use? And how to use? How to make it grammatically correct while doing prepositions? So we'll see. As usual, the uses and examples. The first rule of the preposition under says to denote vertically down. This is to to denote vertically down. Exactly as we talked about. As we talk about over, over in our last class, under will go just opposite to over. To denote vertically down, in over we talked about to denote vertically up. Now we are talking about under. So let's see. The first two says to denote vertically down. Example: We drop the car under the bridge. The car passed under the bridge, vertically down. Thakre ke pool ko chain follow kati. Atwa kune pani matilo chiz ko follow kati jun avasthiti unsa location unsa that is what we call under. So to denote vertically down, we drop the car under the 
ब्रिज नेक्स्ट टू डिनोट लोअर दैन टू डिनोट लोअर दैन भांडा ताला पुट द मॉर्निंग अंडर द पिलो एंड वन थिंग कांटेक्ट एस वी टॉक इन आवर लास्ट क्लास अबाउट टचिंग पोजीशन सो here is the same case to denote lower than bhanda tallo patti hunu parne tara ki hunu parne sath sathe in contact hunu parne dui ta chiz in contact kasye ko avastha ma to denote lower than in contact put the money under the pillow if you put money or something else under the pillow it will definitely be in touch in contact so here i have written the word contact it will remind you the exact position next to indicate inside it has been quoted inside the word inside has been or put out of the for to indicate inside he wore t-shirts under the pool over He wore t-shirts under his pullover. Pullover is something like jacket. So he wore something inside. You wear vests or anything or uh, undergarments under your outer clothes. So that is also the use to indicate inside. Vitra patiko, right? He wore t-shirts under the pullover. Inside life, जानौनु पड़े। अब इस थाले के जानौनु पड़े। भीतर पट्टी को substance, चीज भी इस वस्तु। तो तेज तो स्थिति में अपनी क्या करने था? Preposition under को use करने। Next to indicate junior in rank. In last class we talked about over and the same thing. I told you to indicate senior in rank, in officer, rank, army, whatever, in position. So we talked about senior in our over class, uh, and now we are talking about junior in rank in under. So he is under me. It means it is talking about the ranking. Someone is junior team to me in rank. He is immediately junior to me. Suppose, suppose uh, you are the student of class ten, and class nine will be the student of class nine will be your immediate junior. So, in every rank, in every position, there are seniors and juniors. So, it doesn't mean that to rule it. Here, immediately doesn't mean turunte. It means one rank down. Immediately junior. So, uh, few. These are the few uses. Now, see examples. The mouse ran under the chair. You can tally with the main course. We draw under the. We draw under a breeze. He is swimming under the water. So uh, these are few basic rules that will really help you out using the preposition under. So uh, see the exercises in your book and try to do the similar exercises. And we will be talking about our next few prepositions in our next class. Thank you.